How do you prevent those invalid email addresses from finding their way through your forms? In other words, how do you create a view.js validation logic that works each and every time? I'll share a custom validation logic and prove that it works in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to MailTrap videos where we explore the world of emails. Let's start by creating a new view.js project. Open the terminal, go to the location where you want to store the project and run the npm create view at latest command. Give it a name and use the default values for installation. Open the recently created project to install the dependencies. Run the npm install command. Follow it up with the npm run dev command to ensure everything is working. As you can see, the application is available at localhost 5173. You can check it by opening the endpoint in your browser. Our application works perfectly. Return to your code editor and close the development server. Well, could you get another? And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Your support means a lot to us. All right, go to the app.view file inside the SRC folder and remove the default boilerplate. Import the necessary tool set, such as ref and computed, to create reactive references and computed properties. Add the email and touched reactive references to store the email and track if the email input has been interacted with, respectively. The validation will start after the user interacts with the email field. Define the error state for the validators using the errors computed property. It returns an object with two properties that check if the email field is empty and if it matches the regular expression for a valid email format. That's it for the script. Let's move on to the template section. Add the form element that contains the email input field and associated labels and error messages. The input field updates the email value and marks it as touched when focused, showing the user has interacted with it. Then define the error messages that will be displayed once the user interacts with the email field. Email is required error will be displayed if the user touches the field but doesn't enter an email. Please provide a valid email address error will be displayed if they enter an invalid email address. At this point, you can define the basic style to make the form a bit more appealing. However, that's not necessary for the validation logic to work. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see if our validation logic works. Run the npm run dev command to start the development server and go to localhost. You can now see the email field we created earlier. As we click on it, the email is required error appears. Once we start typing, we see the please provide a valid email address error until we finish entering the valid email address. There you go. This was a simple example of email field validation in Vue.js. But how do you build a complete contact form and send emails from it? We've already prepared a tutorial about it. Check that one out to send emails from the Vue.js contact form right away. And I'll see you there.